So now it's time to take a look at software instruments. First up, let's clarify. What is a software instrument? Well, quite simply, it's a musical instrument that lives inside your computer. There are two general types of these. First, there are synthesizers, like this one, the ES2. And these generate sound from scratch using mathematical principles. Don't worry, this isn't as scary as it first seems, and you don't need to know any mathematics to work one. Synthesizers are extremely common in electronic music, but of course they're popular in many other genres too. The second type of software instrument is called a sampler. These instruments play back audio samples when you tell them to. For example, I might record every note on my piano separately using a microphone, then load those samples into the computer and tell it to play the C-sharp sample when I hit a C-sharp on my MIDI keyboard, or the D when I hit the D on my keyboard, and so on. In that way, I could fool some listeners into thinking that I was playing a real piano when actually I'm playing a software instrument. Some software instruments can generate notes and musical patterns internally, but most of them need you to tell them exactly what to play. And that's done using MIDI data. MIDI data contains several types of information. First, and most obviously, there's the notes that you want to play. But MIDI can also tell a software instrument how loudly to play those notes, or whether to bend the pitch of the notes, like a guitarist bending a string. In fact, MIDI can pass quite a few different messages to a software instrument at once, which is good because it means you can make your instruments sound much more expressive and complex than just a simple string of notes. I have a MIDI keyboard which is plugged in via USB. I'll be using this while we look at software instruments just to play a few notes to demonstrate the sounds of the instruments we're looking at. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, however, but you want a quick way to audition sounds, Logic allows you to use your computer keyboard as a musical keyboard. Just use the caps lock key to enable it. Now the middle and top row of letter keys act as musical keys. You can even record yourself playing this keyboard as MIDI data. But be aware that while caps lock is enabled, most keyboard shortcuts for functions in Logic won't work. Later we'll look at recording, editing and programming MIDI data in Logic more fully. But for now let's move on and load up our first software instrument. <laughs> 